Hello everybody and today I'm going to be filming another body shop haul. I've literally done quite a lot of these this year and the reason is, is because since I did the body shop at home, I just started really liking their products. So I'm going to be filming another one today of some stuff that I bought a few weeks ago. This is probably going to be the last one for a while even though I do still have some body shop videos planned to do and film with the products that I've already got and foundation testing videos etc like that so there's still going to be more videos so subscribe if you're not already subscribed but yeah this is my last one I stopped doing the body shop at home f like literally a few months ago and I am going to do a video very soon as to why I stopped doing that and as to why I wouldn't recommend you to do it. I know that a lot of people have started doing it that I know over quarantine because they think that they'll be able to make some money but I will make a video as to why most people won't make money doing that but I am going to do a haul today of some products. I will link down in the description a couple of people that I buy stuff from if you want to buy from people. Also if you've only come on my channel to comment in the comments of these videos asking people to buy your stuff from your body shop groups, your comments go into spam on my videos and they don't get published because I don't allow those comments because it just gets too much. So yeah, a lot of people just come on my videos on these specific ones to comment asking people to join their group and I'm uh, not accepting those comments. So there's no point in commenting it. So first of all, I'm going to show you something that I meant to show in my last haul but forgot. So that was a great start. But this is obviously from the body shop as everything else is. But this is the Zesty Lemon Body Yogurt. If you know me, you know I love anything sour, anything like lemony or limey or anything like this. So this is actually a new range that they have at the body shop. When I heard about it, I was like, I really want everything from that range. So I got this, which I wouldn't usually purchase a body yogurt or a body butter or anything like that. Like that's not like my usual thing to buy. But the shower gel was out of stock. So I thought, oh, I really want something like this. So this is what I've got. And literally it smells really strong like really lemony and sour like it smells exactly the same as sherbet lemon and I really like that so yeah I put this on after I've been in the shower all over my body and it just makes your like whole body smell really nice up until your next shower so yeah I really like this and I would recommend it because it does smell really strong and it does last really well and it doesn't like the body yogurts at the body shop don't feel really sticky on your skin like some of the body butters can do because they can feel kind of like sticky but these ones don't they sink in straight away now for the stuff that i actually got recently so i won a little prize on like a competition thing that one of my friends was doing on her body shop group and i won this this sheet mask here this is the vitamin c glow sheet mask i have used this before and I really really liked it. I'm obsessed with the vitamin C range at the body shop. I really like it. It is definitely my favourite range that they do. I've got loads of products from there. But yeah, this is just a sheet mask of one use and yeah, I can't wait to use this. I'm going to use it now because I was waiting to film this video before I could actually use it. But yeah, I like this one because it's like specific to making your skin glowy and hydrated. And that's the kind of vibe that I'm going for with my skincare these days is like more glowy products rather than anything else. And my skin's been liking it. I also picked up this which is the vitamin e gel moisture cream this is a repurchase i did buy this in my last haul that i did and i just wanted to buy another one just to stock up because i don't want to run out of my other one and not have one this is the like my favorite moisturizer that i've ever tried i really really like it it is a gel oh there's a bubble yeah it's a gel consistency it's not a normal moisturizer it is a gel normal moisturizers are like white and a little bit more thick and i just find that they take a bit longer to like sink in whereas this one sinks in really quickly and it also looks quite glowy on the skin so i like that i feel like my face isn't in focus in this entire video i don't know we'll just have to pray really like that and i got that as like a backup for 
the one that I had before. Oh, I also got this, which I haven't tried before. This is the British Rose Petal Soft Gel Toner. This is like the weirdest toner that I've ever tried. I've never had anything like this before. And usually when you get a toner, it's like a liquid or like a water-based product rather than what this is. And you put it onto a cotton pad and put it on your face. This is actually like a gel. Does it say gel? Yeah, it says gel toner. So yeah, it is, it's a gel. And it's got like little petals in it. And I don't know, it just looked really interesting. I have still got a couple of toners from the body shop. I might do like a what's in my body shop collection video soon and you'll be able to see everything. But yeah, this is new to my collection. I'm actually using my seaweed toner from the body shop as a setting spray. So I'm actually pouring it into a spray bottle and spraying it over my face to set my makeup because I just I just wanted to do that and yeah so I've got this and yeah I really like it and it's fun to use and yeah it's a gel when I bought it I actually didn't realize that this was a gel I thought it would just be like the others so yeah I like that and I have been using it and it does feel really nice oh yeah I got an SPF so this is for the summer months I have got an SPF from the body shop it's from the vitamin C range can't remember the exact name but it was in a previous haul and that's what I'm using at the minute and it'll probably last me a month or two and then when we hit summer summer i've got this here which is the multi protection lotion spf 50 which is obviously quite powerful i think the other one that i've got was 30 um so this is just for like the proper summer months that i just got ready i really like this i did try it out the other day and it does feel a lot more like a sun cream than the one that i've got at the minute the one that i've got at the minute is from the vitamin c range and it's more like a glowy kind of product it does have less of an spf content in it than this one and it you know is a bit more glowy and it doesn't really feel like an SPF whereas this definitely feels a little bit more like sun cream than that one so yeah this is what I'm going to be using in the summertime so I just got that because I don't know I just liked it so yeah I won't be using that for a little while until the other one has ran out then I got this this is from the drops of light range this is the pure clarifying foam wash this is the first product that i've ever tried from the drops of light range i'm obsessed with the vitamin e range the vitamin c range i've got a few products from the tea tree range and i've tried stuff like that but when it comes to things like this range i've never tried this before and i think this range is meant to like target redness to the skin so if your skin gets quite red it's meant to make it not red or it's meant to like reduce redness on the skin so that's why I, well it's not really why i got this i just got this because i wanted to try something new but if you had red skin maybe this is something to try so yeah i got this it's just a facial wash i literally like to try new things all the time especially when it comes to facial washes because i don't know i get bored at the minute i've got the carrot energizing facial wash from the body shop so when that runs out this is the one that i've got i'm the kind of person that just likes to have backups ready for when it runs out it doesn't necessarily mean that this is what i need right now but yeah i've got this ready to go i did use this once the other night and i really like it and i'm excited to use it but i need to wait until my carrot washes run out before i can use this because otherwise it's just a waste buying things all the time so yeah i'm happy i've got this and i really like it oh yeah i've got two makeup products in here so for makeup which I have got makeup. I haven't, actually, no, I do. I do have a few products um, in the makeup section from the body shop. I think their makeup is a bit hit or miss. They are more focused for me personally on body and skincare than on makeup. And they are really, really good with their skincare and everything like that. But when it comes to makeup, Obviously I've tried quite a lot of stuff so I know if things are good or bad. I've I've got a concealer from them, that's really nice. And I've also got, um, what else have I got? Oh, a brow pomade. Is it a pomade? No, it's a brow like quad and that's really nice. But I've tried a few things that are just not great and I didn't really like them. So I think it's kind of hit or miss when it comes to that because they are more of like a body skincare type thing. But I did get two makeup products. So the first thing I got is this foundation. It's the Fresh Nude Foundation in the shade Coyote Blossom number 15. And I got, it's got SPF 15 in it. So I just needed a new foundation and I just couldn't be bothered to kind of order off of a separate website and have to pay shipping. So I decided to just get this in with my order. And I actually really like this foundation. Now I don't know if it says on it, but it is definitely a medium, I would say a medium coverage foundation. It's definitely not full, it's not light, but it's kind of, I would say light to medium. So you can actually make this really light. And I quite like that. 
Obviously, I have loads of makeup on right now and you wouldn't be able to really tell, but I am going to do a full day wear test of this foundation video coming very soon, so subscribe for that. And I will show you how this foundation looks on the skin and everything like that, and it is really nice. And it does, you know, when I applied it, I was actually like, oh, I actually do really like this. It doesn't look cakey or anything like that. So I am actually very impressed with this foundation. But like I said, I am going to do a video on that. <laughs> Um, and then I also got a concealer because again I'm running low on concealers as well. So what is this concealer? I'm not sure, it doesn't have a name on it. I don't know what the exact name of this concealer is but it is in the shade 00. So I don't know but yeah I really like this concealer as well. It's kind of got like something in the middle, I don't know if you can see that but it's like light coloured. I don't really know to be honest. Uh, maybe I should like research that or something but yeah I really like this it's the lightest shade which is stupid because it's actually not that light like this is actually quite dark for the lightest shade can you see that like it the lightest shade of a concealer range should basically be white in my opinion because so many people have got lighter skin tones than me and therefore they should cater to every sort of range do they actually have really dark foundations or not I don't know because it's quite bad if they don't but anyway so I'm actually going to do a video doing a full day wear test using this concealer as well so that you can see it and everything like that. Um, just because that's what I want to do. I'm going to be filming three videos a week so there's quite a lot of stuff that I can talk about. Um, but yeah, so I think that's pretty much everything from my little bag. Favourite things that I've got. Probably, I actually do really like this. I do really like this facial wash and I also really like the foundation and concealer which I wasn't sure if I would like them or not but yeah I like these um so yeah that is everything that I got in my body shop haul subscribe for more body shop content on this channel because I do do quite a lot why am I not in focus if I'm not in focus in this entire video I'm gonna be really annoyed but anyway that's life um so yeah thanks for watching subscribe and I'll see you in my next video goodbye Oi, oi, oi.